You got everything memorized here? Oh, no. I finally went to a lunch and that's where we're I wrote the, uh, oh. so I wrote that whole thing. So I, I should have a pretty good grasp on it, I know. Is that Cornell? <laughs> The degree you got, right? Yeah, I didn't get into Cornell because of my grades, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I watched you on your very last should we, batch. Should we make note of that? Yeah. I've never <laughs> seen him doing homework at Cornell on the internet, but I've seen him throw some kids around. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, we, yeah. It, was, it was an unbelievable experience. I, I'm very fortunate. Well, you deserved it. So. Oh, it took some beatings. Yeah, when I first got there, that's for sure. Oh. So. Well, you want to give us a quick rundown on your proposal? Yeah, and I want to yeah. ask you some questions here. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, just kind of, I guess everything's kind of tied back to sport wrestling for me in a way, my relationships, the businesses that I've started, and the things I'm a part of. So, this business came to me from uh, actually um, Mitch Miller, who's a, well, I don't know if some of you guys know Mitch, you know, a local uh, businessman here. Um, owns new fuels and owns the Lake Odessa uh, ethanol plant and his son wrestles the all. So when I came back, I uh, we I asked him if he wanted to get involved with the storage company that I started and he said, yeah, absolutely. So we partnered in that. And during that time, his brother, and his brother partnered with us as well, and he lives in Alexandria, his brother, brother's daughter, so his niece, um, had opened and started this company. It take, took an old building in downtown very similar to ours um, and created this company called The Edge. And uh, they renovated it and opened in July. And um, as I looked more into it, uh, it was really unique and different and something that I had never seen before. So I flew out there um, with my mom because I don't really trust my taste for this stuff that well. So. I brought my mom with me and um, we flew out together and she went in and we experienced this uh, really unique retail, kitchen, supply, uh, bar, coffee, just comfortable seeing kind of this whole kind of experience. And it was perfect for me because I hate to shop, so I'm not a fashion guy, if you, I know it surprises you. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for me, it was great because I went in, I sat down on one of their couches with, and watched some football and had a coffee and talked to Mick Miller, who was Mitch's brother that, um, that had uh, started this whole thing. And my mom went around and shopped and bought stuff. And um, I sat there for about three hours and when I watched, I just was watching the customer experience and a lot of very similar, like husband guy would come in, sit there, hang out, have a beer, watch the game, talk, and then not only was the wives shop at that place, but then they walk to the other ones and shop, and then they come back full circle and leave. Um, and I was like, wow, this is, it was just really neat. And I really, really, really have wanted to do something for this community um, that I cherish so much, um, just because of everything that it did for me. I tried to buy two of the buildings downtown um, when I first got back to end up working out, but the, uh, then this came up as an opportunity. At the same time, this business came to my attention and actually just the design of it with the garage doors and some of the things that they do, um, that building came for sale and I was like, wow, this is, I can see this being here, and especially with being on the water and um, everything, I just started to envision it. Um, the Mick and Mitch both loved, loved the idea and uh, jumped right in, and Kiana, who had, had the vision of the whole business herself, and then actually one of my buddies from, from college, we we own, we, we focus on a lot of multifamily apartment stuff together. Uh, we own some stuff in New York, and um, have done some stuff together, and he wanted to be a part of it, so that's Brian, that's on that page with uh, the developmental partners, and we all got together, and. Um, we're like, yeah, you know, let's make this happen if, uh, if we're chosen. So uh, we put the whole development team together. Um, part of the designer is uh, the person that designed the whole store in Alexandria. Uh, Nuco is our engineering and architectural firm that will be working uh, with Amy. And then our primary contractor is Copper Rock, who has done business with uh, the Mitch and Mick. Um, they all build more ethanol and they've done uh, you know, they own the Whittacombe building downtown. They, they, that's actually where Copper Rock, their headquarters are. Um, 
so <clears throat> our network and everybody that's has prepared for this uh, for this business to come and uh, everybody believes that we'll get it done um, efficiently and, and uh, bring it to Lowell if we're chosen. So uh, we're all very prepared and, and uh, that's our we have a pretty strong team. So uh, that's pretty much the, the overview. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to have the answer. Yeah, so we have a list we've been asking everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Can, can, I, can I ask a couple that aren't on the list? You can do that. Sure. Not. Before we go to the list? That's not sure. Yeah, that's not go ahead. Right. Well, <clears throat> is it just beer and wine or is it liquor, too? Uh, there, it's just beer and wine. Okay. So. Um, uh, I was just, it, and I didn't even think of it until just a second. Yeah, there it's just beer and wine. Um, and, I, you know, I've never been through, uh, they went through it in Alexandria. I, I don't know, I'm not too familiar with the process to get a liquor license. That's what I was, that's where um, I was heading with the question. Because I know that's that's kind of a rigorous, difficult process if I, if I look from what I've heard. Um, you know, not saying that we wouldn't look into it, but uh, the, the beer and the wine that they supply is all pretty much local with, with your commonalities that everybody loves, but they do a lot of local. They actually throughout the whole store, they try to support a lot of local businesses and their, you know, the stuff that they sell. Uh, like, and, and they do do a little food, but it's not, um, it's not anything that you need an industrial size kitchen for. It's like you know, small plates of. You know, I think there they do sandwiches and little um, stuff like that, but it's not nothing uh, crazy, uh, which we can look into doing that as well. And it, it, probably in your. How many people you think you're going to have work in there? Between 10 to 12. Um, there's 15 that are employed right now for there. That's in Alexandria. Um, when did that open up? That didn't open in July. Okay. So, and um, I visited at the end of August, and uh, it is, they're doing really well. So, um, it, they're doing really well. So they, they, they're really excited about the potential to open up another location. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thanks. All right, you want to start them off with question number one while you're on it? Yeah, what did I do that? I know my proposal is extremely long, so I'm sorry. These sorry. questions are kind of, but we wanted to ask the same questions of everyone, so. Absolutely. All right. The city's vision for the line shack is in its rest, that its restoration will be a catalyst project on the west side of the Flat River, thus revitalizing the area. In essence, the city's looking for a unique and dynamic interest for the line shack. Why do you think your firm can provide that, and what would you do to execute it? Um, I, well, I definitely feel like bringing this type of business to the waterfront downtown Lowell will definitely revitalize that area. Um, I just from what I've seen there and. Uh, the uh, people that are involved that are extremely talented uh, have great visionaries for you know retail the retail environment um, I think would be perfect for a spot like that in Lowell. Um, you know I'd like to talk to some of our community members and people that you know love coming downtown. Um, I've explained this and I, I've gotten to only you know they're talking to me I guess so it's a little biased but the, they've only, only gotten positive feedback that it's something that they would come down and not only you know, spend their time there, but walk around other downtown and bring business to to our whole community uh, of the city of Lowell itself. So, you know, I uh, I I want Lowell to be the place to be, and it's and it's becoming that. Um, thanks to you guys, um, honestly, you know, the city. Um, but you know, when I when I left ten years ago and went to New York and went to Cornell, and when I come home to now, I'm just like it just keeps getting better and. Um, I think this would add another dynamic um, thing where people would come visit, come from out of town to experience something like this and, uh, and not only bring business to our business but also to the other local businesses themselves. And to execute it, I mean, <coughs> our development team I think speaks for itself. I mean, it's a lot of really, um, we put everything in place for that to be executed as uh, most efficiently as possible with um, going through the right processes and obviously the things that you have to do in order to open a business like this in a city, um, but I feel really confident in the people that we have put together to, to execute it extremely efficiently. I mean, I, 
I was even the one, I was the one that said, man, May, May 1st of 2022, huh, guys? That's, uh, that's, that's what you guys think. And um, when we had our Zoom call with Copper Rock, Nuco, um, Amy, and our development team in Alexandria, that's what they decided. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Uh, I know that, that could, that's give and take, but um, that's what they feel like. So. Mm -hmm. This, I think, is in that proposal, but what are your cost estimates to fully convert this building? And have you completed a preliminary pro forma for the project? And has your firm completed a project of this nature? And what percentage of the project are you attempting to seek financing for? Um, yeah, so we, we, uh, we think this is going to be... You know, we're projecting an $850,000 investment, um, you know, uh, financially it definitely could be more. Uh, we, we, you know, we put in a proposal to, for $100,000 to buy the building. Um, if Wolf and Power wanted to come back and negotiate with us, granted we were picked, we'd be happy to pay more for it. Um, and to, uh, we will be looking to finance, uh, I think in there I put 80% of the project. Um, with our partners that we've brought to the table, uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, and, and it shouldn't be an issue if it's more than 850 grand. Um, it will get done, I guess that's my point. And uh, not only myself, but Brian, Mitch, Mick, um, and Keon are uh, financially, we're, we'll be able to take care of it. So we feel extremely, extremely confident in that piece. And then um, uh, the past project, I guess. In Alexandria, that's uh, just that was a million dollar project. So, thank you. Oh, uh, leads me. Uh, the city of Lowell is looking for a tenant with the ability to complete the project and have sustainable operation. Please tell us how you will work with the city to assure that you can adequately fund this project and continue to have sustainable operation. Um, well, I guess. Uh, in more detail, just you know, what are we, like, you know, are we going to be compliant? I guess or is that what you're asking, or <laughs> I, uh, I guess in detail. Yeah, I. Maybe I can explain the question a little bit. Um, yeah. Basically, the we're looking for we're looking for somebody that can come in and do the project, yep. be able to complete the project, but have an operation, a business business that going forward it's going to be something that is sustainable it's going to be able to keep growing and growing and growing and it's not you know it's not going to be something where you know three years from now it's going to go out of business and become something else that's kind of the gist of the question. it's a long job yeah yeah gotcha okay yeah got it. totally understand um so uh i know there was a previous development section of this proposal uh between all of us there's 23 different LLCs that we are a part of um, none of them which have are failing. Uh, all of them are actually doing well. Um, so in terms of like a business savvy sense, I feel very confident in just the different, and they're all different industries. You got new fuels, which is gas station. You got, you know, they own the Lake Odessa pop, the ethanol plant. That's a whole different animal. You got this business. You got the, the that's not in there, but the Miller's own a 21 acre greenhouse in Illinois um, that supplies all the tomatoes to Costco's in the Midwest. Um, you know, you got, Tons of different industries, tons of different expertise coming to the table, so I, I do feel sustainability-wise that we will um, be able to take care and make sure that this is a successful project. Um, the location itself, and for what we want to do there, I feel very confident in um, people being able to enjoy the water, um, enjoy the amenities that the Edge provides, I, uh, and just the different things that we do with the business itself. You know, we yes, it's retail. We run those. You know, in Alexandria, they open up those garage doors, and there's morning yoga classes, and then they do little like chef nights where couples come in, they drink wine, they learn how they bring a sushi chef in, and they use the full operating kitchen in that, and they teach how to make, you know, they teach them to make sushi. I just, I feel like all the different amenities that it, it provides and the things that it does, um, that that this will be a very sustainable business in the future. And actually, we want to open more than one location in Michigan. Um, this will be the first. Uh, but the uh, Kiana and Mick have uh, shown interest in you know, if this one goes well, which we all anticipated to, uh, we'd like to open a few more of them. So none of that will compete with all of them. 
Okay. The city law is focusing on creating a sense of place for the downtown district by enhancing our natural assets and creating a walkable community. What does this mean to you and how will you embrace it in your project? Well, I, I, would, I hope we will definitely keep moving that way because this is kind of one thing that people walk to and, and, and come in. And like I said, on nice days we open those garage doors. It's, it's very, it's an inviting project, you know. People, when I was sitting there on the couch watching how people and, cons and customers interacted with the edge there, um, it's people walking downtown, walking in, stumbling in, having a drink, having a coffee, shopping, picking up a couple kitchen items or gift items for the fall season or whatever is going on, um, and then walking out and going to the next business, and then coming back and maybe having to sit down and having a drink with their husband or their wife that stayed there while the other, while the one went over there. Um, so I think in terms of bringing more of a walkable downtown experience, I, 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 I think this fits perfectly for that, um, for sure. Don't take this one personally. <laughs> I, won't, I, won't, I, won't, I get stuck with this one. Quit. Are there any legal issues, <laughs> criminal offenses, foreclosures, bankruptcies, other civil issues that are pending or adjudicated on your firm and or principals? Uh, like I said, 23 LLCs. <laughs> no legal issues. No no issues at when all. Honestly, game, that's why we gave you yeah, the yeah. <laughs> You let me be clear, let me be clear. 15 of those are the Millers. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like a huge portion of them, but uh, 15 of them are the Millers. But like I said, they've never been, they've never filed for bankruptcy for any of the businesses they've started. Brian and I have it for ours. Um, Kiana's the one that had the vision for this. This is her second business actually that she started. Um, the other one is doing extremely well. It's, a, it's called Tri Ties. They sell little hair things. I'm, can't explain it too well, but uh, <laughs> you guys would know better than me. Uh, but the, uh, like I said, we, we, there's so many different minds and different perspectives that are coming to the table to make this project happen. Experience already with um, a successful opening in Alexandria, very similar downtown to ours. I, uh, I, I, there, there's no history of any of that. So. Thanks. And there won't be. <laughs> the city of wool is a public body and dealing with a public body transparency is of the utmost concern there's a strong there's an absolute possibility moving forward that we will be highly scrutinized by the public is that a concern for you guys and how do you plan on addressing it no i was scrutinized by the public when i started at quarterback when i was 15 years old for our town so. <laughs> <laughs> I have no concern for that. I'm pretty sure you can type in Gabe and Sons on Google and you'll find something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and being in sports, I guess, and being uh, in, the, in the spotlight sometimes, like, you just gotta be used to that. So, And all of us are that way. So we, you know, anything time you're opening anything and you're starting something new, there's always gonna be a little backlash. Um, that's something that was familiar to all of us, especially in the business world with um, the ex experience there. Uh, so uh, we, we, we have a problem with that, especially me. So. All right, question seven. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, I guess just my only question is, uh, would, I guess, do you guys have a, a date where you're going to make this decision by or announce this decision by? Yeah, I can, I can explain that. So <clears throat> at some point in the near future, it could be today, could be Monday, um, the city council will direct me at some point to I, I assume they'll direct me to put a resolution in place um, as the for the uh, for the entity they, they would like to move forward with. Um, when that happens, um, I have to put the resolution in and I have to give it to the city clerk and it has to sit for 20 days. When um, when um, after that 20 days, they can vote me. They have to vote in the affirmative four votes. Four of the five members have to vote yes for the project, and that that would be allowed. What what the um, that would allow the sale to take place. Um, in addition to that, um, I probably in that in that time period, I probably would be reaching out to the entity who selected, to start the process of obviously this portion of it, but putting a development agreement in place for the uh, for the process. So I think once they decide, once they decide, make take direction, we I think it can be done relatively quick. Perfect. So that's great. Um, but we do have all of our financing. 
whatever we're, we're choosing, chosen, we do have all of our financing, all the cash, and everything is in place with them. Um, and we, we have a bank that will proceed forward with us. Good. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we thank appreciate you. it. You. You'll be hearing from us, so. Okay, great. All right, take care, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.